Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I'm going to finish the Jun Planning Cloth Deluxe Dolls. Um, like I said before on some other videos that I've done some of these dolls on, that Diamond Select also has a line of these um, figures, dolls, whatever you want to call them, uh, that you can pick up through that company as well, not just exclusive to Jun Planning, at least not anymore. And so uh, let's start with Dr. Fingelstein. Here. Now these, I've actually, I've had these for so, some of these for several years now, but um, never have, ta have I taken them out of the box. So is this going to be interesting? I'm getting out of the box. Oh, his wheels actually move. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave him attached since I do display these inside the box. But here is Dr. Finkelstein, and he has a, um, a velvety white uh, lab coat on and some black, feels like some kind of plasticky rubber gloves. And I think his head does open. It's got a piece of plastic over it right now, but his head should look open. And the wheels do move. There's little shoes down there. So it's a very, very nice looking doll. Um, or a figure. I, I'm not sure what they're classifying these as, as a figure or a doll. But um, plastic head. It's nice they actually put some plastic on him because as in a previous video, um, one of my dolls, the color of the box bled onto the, the doll itself. Um, looks like here they at least kept it, because he's all white um, from that happening. I would hope that the, the chair would bleed onto the doll. I would hope that would not be an issue, but you never know. Here's his little, oh this I moved too. Just a little bit. Forward and back. So yes, very, very nice. So there's that one. Let's see what's back here. Mm, it looks like some packaging. Oh, here's the tag. Collection doll, Dr. Finkelstein. It's very nice. Let's just put that on there for a second. And the next one I'm going to show is the set of three um, lock, shock, and barrel. Well, this is a really thin plastic. I'm surprised by how thin this is. Uh, very thin. I wonder what that in there is. I'll have to see what that is. This is very thin, so I have to be careful not to crumple that too much. So here is shock. Let's just go ahead and take them all out in a second. I wonder if she'll stand. Yeah, she does. Good. And their legs actually move. Here, I'll start with barrel since I have them in my hand. Okay, here's his mask. Let's see if it actually fits. Yeah, it fits on him. It won't stay on him, but it it, uh, it does fit his face. So, actually, maybe if we. Nope. Okay. And here, uh, collection dolls. What they're calling these. 
and his legs do move back and forth and he does have like a, a velvety material uh, cloth outfit on it's his head turn yeah head turns so that's really nice and he does seem to stand on his own let's do shock now shock does have like a plastic hat uh, rubbery type plastic hat I wonder if, no, you can't turn the feet, angle it. You can't angle the feet back and forth. It just, you can move the legs back and forth, but not the. Same thing, velvety type outfit on. And you can move her head back and forth. These actually look really good. Like their faces look good. And if you lean her forward just a little bit, she will stand. And then lock. He has a, like a hard hard shell type plastic face. I think they, this feels more rubbery. But his is more of a harder plastic. Little tail. It's nice shoes. There you go. So the, yeah, these are really nice. These are really nice. Oh wait. His mask fits. Let's see. Her mask does as well. So very cool. And her hair is like a, a rubbery type material as well. And she has a hard plastic face like Locke does. Let's do Locke Shock Barrel. There we go. So there are those. And next I'm going to do, let's do the mayor. And he's also in this same coloring of a box here. Now this one, the box is tall enough because of his hat that you actually have a full-blown picture of Jack on the hill here. So that's pretty cool. with an extra hand and everything. Oh, there he goes. It's right here. Oh, he's really nice, too. He got his hands wrapped in this kind of plastic and his feet as well. I think I can slide that off, yeah. Oh wow, his hand moves. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to play with these a little bit. So I've never had these out of the box. His hand's coming loose though. There we go. Okay. And he seems to stand as well. His head does, let's, let's see, let's move you guys out of the way for just a second. We'll scooch him back. Okay, so here we got uh, the mayor here. Let's take his tag off. So he looks really good. Um, he's got his little spider there, and he's got a cloth outfit on. This seems to be more of that velvety type material. Seems like all these cloth dolls is what they're making their stuff out of. But his arms are really bendable. Like, you can bend at the um, 
uh, shoulder and at the elbow to a point. So this is pretty cool. And you can swivel his head. Got his little mare ribbon on. It's a very, very nice doll. Let's see, let's try to change out his hand. It goes over here. Does this one come off too? No. That one doesn't even have the option to come off. Okay. This one does. There we got it. You can put it up, go toward his mouth. It's about as close as his arm will get to himself though. Yep. So very cool. Yeah, I'm really liking the mare. They did a really nice job on him. Oh, here's the back. Let's see his jacket. Let's see what's underneath. Oh yeah, there's his striped pants, which they made into a hard plastic. They did not make his pants cloth. They're they're plastic. All right, the next one I have is Zero. And here on the back, oh, here's the original retail. It was uh, $42.99. Um, i trying to see where company, I think I bought this off of eBay. So I was trying to see where they had gotten it. I don't know. But anyway, it says collection doll on it as well, uh, Zero. Here's uh, some literature on the back. Oh, yeah, here's some, some kind of writing on the inside here that's it's interesting there. Here. Oh, he's on some kind of a plaque, it looks like. Oh, zero. I didn't know it was on a plaque. Huh, interesting. Shows it on like this, uh, yeah, this, um, like a wood plaque here cleaned up a little bit. And then here's this rod, I'm assuming it goes up here. Okay. And that goes back here. Okay, is that how he goes? All right. So there is zero. Let's see if we can't angle him a little differently. Oh, you can turn his head. There we got it. Okay. So yeah, you can turn him at which however you want him on, on this rod here. And his head does turn. Got his little jack-o'-lantern nose. This all feels to be like a PVC rubbery um, plasticky material. The base feels to be wood. So why they even included this? Why not just make this the base? I, I don't, I'm not sure why they did that. Um, that's the way they did it. It's very nice. So there's that piece. Now the last thing I have is um, 
not really I don't think considered a uh, one of these dolls it's still done planning though can't move you aside zero it is a uh, remote control remote controlling snowmobile okay so this is Jack in the snowmobile so let's get him out of there See. Oh, that one opens from the side. Okay. Oh, here's the back. It says, um, it has the, you know, your typical white box down here that tells you whatever, what it is. And, oh, here's some pictures of some other products. Um, a lot of these I showed you that, came, I don't have him, these, this piece here. Uh, a lot of these I showed you come with PVC uh, collection series. A lot of these came with that, um, Jim Planning, that Jack, that action figure with the multiple figures. Uh, it came with uh, a lot of these, not all of them, but it, it came with several of these uh, figures. So that's another thing with Gen Planning is that you got to watch like what you buy buy from them because sometimes it's the same thing but repackaged with something else or packaged differently. Like these, you can get in like a shown in sets of two on a card, and these came in a set of three on a card, and these came in a set of three on a card, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But they also released a box set that came with like maybe I don't know six or seven of or six or nine of them or something like that in one box set and then another box set that had the other ones same figures packaged differently so um yeah so you need to pay attention to that because um like my doll or action figure came with a lot of these and so i wouldn't want to make uh buy a, the individual sets of these because i already have them so um, you got to pay attention to that with the gem planning stuff. A lot of things they have is the same thing, but repackaged or packaged with something else. So, anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. This has instructions. It shows uh, it's in another language here. Gem planning, I, I want to say, is a Japanese um, company. So. I'm assuming that this is written in Japanese. I, I don't know, so what what that is. Oh, I'm gonna have to get batteries. Okay. I hope there's not batteries already in it, because if there is, they're probably long throated because um, I did not take them out. I just assumed they didn't originally come with any. Oh, it's coming on apart. So I'm not actually taking this out of the box or ran this thing, so we'll have to see if it works. Yeah, I bet I'm gonna have to put batteries in that. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 don't break it, don't break it. That was wanting to break off of there. Make sure it's on there good, okay. All right, so let's see how this works. So this is like directly connected to it, so it's not wireless. Yeah, I guess. Well, that's kind of. Huh. Anyway, it does show like the scuffing and um, d uh, damage to the snowmobile on this. It shows some dirt right here. So lots of details and spray painted dirt right there. Uh, here, Jack is a plastic material. There is no cloth on this one. Oh, but I wonder if that lights up. I don't think it does. So, pretty cool. Let's see, does this do anything? No. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go get some batteries. First, uh, let's go ahead and connect this bag. Here's the big bag he takes back. wonder how well this is going to roll with this on the back of it. I got it. Look how long his coattails are. Super long coattails back here. Okay. Come on. 
I'm gonna connect this and then I'll get some batteries and we'll fire this thing up. All right guys, um, I got some batteries and I took the battery compartment off. So we'll have to see if this uh, the plate off, this will work. Okay. Whoa, okay, that scared me. <laughs> Alright, so it does work. It's kind of hard to control. Whoa, okay, so keep it back up. Now backing up obviously would be hard because it's got this pack. If you took the pack off, it wouldn't be too bad. So let's see. Alright, so I have to kind of... This one turns it, and this one goes straight. But he kind of wants to um, not drive very straight, so I have to kind of push them both. And it's annoying that this is attached to the item. This obviously is not a um, wireless um, remote control. So, um, but I mean, you can elongate the cord, obviously, if you undo this part here. But, but yeah, he does work. I mean, he moves, so there you go. All right, that's the first time I've ever, ever done anything with this thing. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, um, so there he is. I could have just lived with this just being a figure. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to uh, come down here and play with this thing. Um, so if it would have just been fine to me, had it just been a um, a figure, a figure roll, uh, collectible versus an actual um, toy. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's going to conclude this video. I uh, thank you for watching, and um, please subscribe.